Gold is big business in India. It's used in daily life and on special occasions, as security and a sign of prosperity. Now the government wants some of that wealth to be put into the financial system. It has created several new mechanisms, such as depositing gold in exchange for interest. But people here will need some persuading to hand over this most precious of metals, even those who think it's a good idea. It sounds good, but most people don't know about it. We'll only put our gold in if we believe our family will benefit from the scheme. Getting Indians to part with their gold hasn't been easy. Less than 500 grams in gold deposits have been collected so far, with the other gold programs at best having had a lukewarm reception. But the government is still pushing its plan to convert the country's private gold wealth into money for the economy because of the potential benefits. Indian temples and homes hold an estimated 20,000 metric tons of gold, worth about 800 billion dollars. Analysts believe even a fraction of that, if put into the financial system, would make India one of the world's top economies and could fund roads and buildings. But those in the gold sector say the government program isn't working. The regular bank deposits rate is between seven and eight percent, but the government's gold deposit rate is just 2.5 percent. That's too low. If it was higher, maybe the scheme would be successful. The government also wants people to convert 22 carat ornaments into 24 carats, so the labor charges are being borne by the customer. It seems the government has not made these calculations before launching the scheme. This is why it's not working. Also, any gold being deposited would first have to be melted down and processed at the owner's expense. That, along with widespread ignorance about the gold programs, means most people aren't able to weigh the program's benefits to themselves or to the country. Fez Jamil Al Jazeera, Ahmedabad, India.